Well, there you go. So I've just come across this crashed vertebird on on my way to drop off some stuff. I'm assuming it was something that happened earlier when there was this kind of crashy thing, or it might be the Brotherhood just claiming something. I don't know. So just gonna have an investigate, see what's going on here. Uh, the vertebird was on fire when I turned up, and it's still on fire now. Uh, I'm assuming it's Brotherhood still in a gunners, maybe. I'm gonna quick save. I don't even know who that is. Are they hostile to me? Well, ooh, well, there goes the vertebird. So it's some sort of camp. This Brotherhood is still landed here? Was this scripted? Were they supposed to get blown up? I don't know. Who is this guy? Brotherhood Lancer. Alright, might as well take everything, because I'm overloaded as it is. So the Brotherhood is still Lancer was shooting. I think it was him was shooting his own birdie bird. Gunners. Yeah, I can't steal anything from the remains of the birdie bird. So this looks like a gunner's encampment then, or at least probably was a gunner's encampment. I can see at least three dead corp three dead people here. And that is a very interesting uh, outfit you're wearing, sir. Oh, because you're a super mutant suicider. Um So gunners were taking on super mutants and the Brotherhood landed at the same time to do something. There might still be people in there. I'll expect. I'm just gonna have a quick scan with my sniper. Not gonna engage any of them. Um, but just gonna have a. Actually, what was the range of my sniper rifle again? During 15, yeah, my pistol has got better range on it than my sniper rifle. Uh, ah, there are super mutants wandering around here. That's probably why the brother had landed. Oh well. On my way then, once again another interesting sight on my way back to uh, one of my civilization spots. Just crossing uh, crossing the bridge here, which uh, if I show my map, there we are, just crossing the bridge here. You can tell, see I've not got very far from Fort Hagen. Um, and the super mutant thing was down here. Just crossing this bridge and I found a bunch of raiders and what looks like a settler just just dead. Um, now it might be one of mine, settler, because I've got down here, go all the way down. I've got Somerville Place, but I don't think I've actually got. <clears throat> have I got anyone transporting from Somerville Place? Um, and the next room space I've got is Overland Station, and that has a transport line going up to Red Rocket here. So, um, I don't see how why one of my guys would be coming around that way. Um, I don't have anyone going from Sunshine Tidings. I don't think I do anyway. So, random, random dead people. 
Unless it was a strafing run by the Brotherhood. But yeah. It's another one of those things that makes the uh, the world seem just a little bit more alive. In a way. With dead people. Because it wasn't me who killed them. They had a fight of their own. Yeah, well. To looting and then... Uh, on my way once again. Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout. It's not real! You find Tina here in her new home in the vault with a shitload of stuff that she's stashed in a locker. Plenty of meat. Lots and lots of meat. Cow skull. Lots of bobbleheads we've been picking up. Um, and a really, really nice dress. Which she's going to use to adventure out with. Because I've still got my awesome metal arm there and some synth gear I picked up last time and the synth helmet does look a bit weird but you know is he actually I thought uh, maybe anyway um, we have to go and um, have a word with Piper don't we because um, she might know something about something seeds I need more seeds no you don't Thank you. Are you then? You want a good meal. Maria, yeah, 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 I know. I'm good though. I'm heading on out. I have no companions. And I really probably should. Hang on. I'm going to eat something. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I've, I've limited myself in what I'm actually carrying at the moment. Let's have a veg soup. Mmm, -mm, vegetable soup. Breakfast of the gods. Or, you know, irradiated gods or something. Anyway. Now, I left Piper at the rocket truck stop. However, I have a sneaking suspicion, like uh, with dog meat moving around, that she's not actually going to be there. Um, I, I'll have to open up my uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll have to open up my map in a mo. See where it points to. And yes, I did upgrade my computer with extra memory and extra graphics card, but my BIOS settings. I've still not got around to updating it, so the computer's not actually recognising that I put anything new in. So I'm still running on the old speed! Hooray! I'll get around to it at some point. What the hell is that? Ah, traders! Right. Uh, oh yeah, so I've been doing a whole bunch. There's a few more of these that have popped up, and I'm actually getting an extra couple of settlements off it. Um, Renewions. There we go. That's what I was after. And Diamond City. All right. Um, Diamond City Market's where I want to go. All right, back in a moat. Uh, hi. All right, back in Diamond City, and she's in Diamond City's newspaper, of course. Well, well, Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me. Hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What do you mean, finally letting Sorry. you in? You've been traveling with me for freaking ages. Um, where to begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? 
Or the part where he told me they have Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. Yeah, I know. The Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True yeah, I know. Enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Uh, he's dead, though. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Um... I didn't have much of a choice because he kind of just brought it onto me. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Uh, that is insane. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Uh. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh, well I'm gonna take Piper, because Piper's my friend, and I need to give Piper some better armor. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. What's that? What's that look at? What was that look? I don't know what that look was for. Anyway. Hey, point the way. Probably I got, have something you can use. I got some new gear for you, Piper. It's my old gear. Um, that and that and that and that. And you probably want to put it on because it would give you more carry weight and it's better than the gear you got on already. So, um, chest piece, leg, arm, other leg. Cool. Let's just stick on my uh, my own glasses for that bonus to charisma. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Sweet. Now. Let's go find this good neighbour place and see if the neighbours really are good. Oh, um, I know I keep swimming back. Uh, keep that, because I've got a bot ton of ammo for it now. Because i got loads of money and every time I stumble across somebody who's selling something, I just pop in and go, hey, uh, well, I'd have some 10 mil ammo, would you? To fill up my sniper pistol. And then anybody go, yeah, sure. Free your mind. That's um, good advice, I think. 
I don't know. Do 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 do. We're going to see some good neighbours, and looks like we've got to go this way. And it's night time, the perfect time to be wandering around in a place that's probably filled with guys who want to kill me. I've actually had some tussles with super mutants recently. Yeah. Had to go and rescue a, a guy who'd been kidnapped by raiders. Turns out the uh, place the raiders had settled up in was right outside a tower populated by super mutants. Um, that was fun when we got outside. Uh, are you the raider? Who's the raider? Are you the raider? Nothing. Yeah, you are the radar, okay. What was that? Oh, hello. Uh Hear that? Found you. I'm I, one of these was scavenger, others are raiders. Oh, scavenger's dead, okay. Um, don't need to worry about that then. Oh, Am I supposed to be, is it you? Bang. One shot, one kill. Uh, don't need any of that. No. Nah. That's what you want. Yeah. Oh, you're a raider. Sorry, I didn't notice you were the raider. Did I? Uh, did I shoot a scaver in the face in here? Uh, Raider Scaver. Yeah, well, let's leave the rest of these to their uh, their little conflict and keep them going. Yeah, I don't know that looks at that place. Gur gur. Gur gur. Someone say gur gur. Gurgur no? Gurgur yes. Yes no Gurgur. Yes no maybe. No Gurgur. Oh yeah. Ah yes Gurgur. It's a whole lot of building. It is. Um we probably should make it safe by killing Super mutant in there, but damn it! Huh? What's that? Uh, it's the wind. Just the wind. The wind There's sounds an awful lot. Yeah, because the wind sounds an awful lot like a uh, a silenced ten millimeter pistol. Right, he's dead. Come on. Stop right there. I can smell you out there, little sneak. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not up for dealing with uh, with that yet. Huh? Huh? What? Who? Who spotted me now? 
why have they spotted me now? Where are they? Oh, is it you? No, it's not you. Hey. What? Oh, you! Hello! Everything's starting to sound like footsteps these days. Yeah! Especially footsteps. And gunshots. <laughs> right, so many icons on my little scanner thingy. It's hard to tell what way to go. But apparently it's this way. At least I hope it's this way. I've got the right... I'm tracking the right one, am I? Go to good neighbour. Yeah, I am. Vault, oh yeah, um, I stumbled across Vault 114. I think that was one of the ones I did earlier, wasn't it? it was with the, uh, the trigger men in there. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Swan. Swan lives here. Swan is right there. Swan is not going to get shot today. Because Swan would smash my brains to a pulp with ease. Silver Shroud radio signal found. Alright. Uh, more mutants. Nothing. Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Raiders? What? Are there raiders up here? Well, I've got to go this way, so that's where I'm going. Oh yeah, there is a raider right there. Cool. Well, you ain't gonna get no reading done on my ass. Not far the good neighbour. Um, nice Mr. Handy, or not Mr. Handy, a Protectron. I'm hoping my second graphics card, when I've got it working, will improve the resolution I can get those at. And I'll be able to play on the same quality as everybody else who's using consoles or has got super duper high machines. It's there. Yeah, something moving down there. Let's keep on going. Oh, GNN, the Galaxy News Network. Oh, shit. Uh, Super Mutant. Don't want to go that way. Can I get underneath the Galaxy News? Ah, Red Rocket. That's what that's advertising. Let's see if I can get... Can I jump down here? Is this... Is this an area? Well, that's good neighbour, alright. I'm guessing this is an area that I'm supposed to be able to get to. But no doorways in this way, okay. So I believe I've found good neighbour, it's just a matter of getting into good neighbour. Oh, hello. Now, now. Don't move. Not really doing well. so, um, it'd really be nice because I've, I've got um, Animal Friend, and I'd really, you know, I've, I've been trying to use the whole um, pacification thing, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much for me, which is a real shame. Okay, we 
we have the bottom of the bridge or the overpass as I believe they're called in certain circles a bank uh, and the only um, dang no can't think of any withdrawal jokes but only withdrawal I'm is, is that freaking invisible? Mm. I'm guessing that is an invisible wall. But yeah, something about, you know. Uh, I guess I did need to take on the suit mutants. neighbor is right there. Ah, oh, I think they're inside. Well, screw you, Super Mutant. I'm out of here. And uh, no, nothing good on him. just completely circumnavigated the entirety of Good Neighbor now. Am I actually going to find a way in? Right, I found the old corner bookstore, which is open apparently. And there's a Freedom Trail marker here. I am following the freedom trail at the moment. Come on, there's got to be a way in around here somewhere. I've just spent like the mass fusion building. I'm guessing it's that thing, maybe. Might be that. Oh no, MF, yeah, it is that. about however is uh, not it's not how um... someone's not interested in visitors yeah yeah break that down uh... yeah I was saying I'm, I'm what uh, I'm interested in it's not that if they're welcoming to visitors or, or what, but um, how come little Miss Tina here has uh, lived the life of a housewife and yet is... Uh, ah, good neighbour, this way, excellent. And it's such a remarkable shot with uh, a scope pistol. Yeah, which has not even been out in the... Uh, in the in the in the in the radiated wastelands for like a month, I think. Um, I think it's I think I've been like nearly thirty days out in there, so it's been about a month. Um, that's a long time. Well, I say it's a long time. It's not a long time uh, in terms of actually learning how to uh, how to fire a gun with uh, extreme accuracy. So here we are in Good Neighbor. Hey, Hello. Hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Uh, insurance? What kind? What? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand oh. over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big 
bloody accident. All right, well, I have personal protection, thank you. steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Hancock, what do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, uh -huh. sister? Um, uh, you're uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Sounds good. Um, good neighbor. Good neighbor. That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So well, long as you remember who's in charge. I don't know if I will, because my home is actually a vault right now. Um, yeah, let's take a move through of him. What the hell? What are you? Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. That's great. Uh, what are you? Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Uh, you're a robot. Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? Um... I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. I'd like to know if you got some semi rounds. Oh, you do? Sweet. Excellent. I'll have all of them. Ta. Uh, right, so we need to get to the memory then. Do 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 the memory den. It's right Rather in front of me. Of steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I guess they probably should. They talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? Quarantine or some such? Damn, you've been around. I sure do, pal. Hello. Well, well, Mr. Bell. Hello, check in. Are you here? I thought you had forgotten me about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Um Yes, hello. I'm I'm with him. And so is she. Restricted area, authorized persons only. Okay, well, I guess Nick's authorized, and by that extension, so am I. Dr. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, no? Oh, hello. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that <laughs> way, but it's true. 
We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Could you yes. the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse? You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. <laughs> this dead brain had inside <laughs> knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! <laughs> no. I will not. No. Oh. Oh. All right. Here's what I could find. What's this? For this my isn't a brain. This is. Wait. That's the hippocampus, and this thing attached to it, a neural interface. Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So, the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my <laughs> noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Yeah. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary. Pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Uh, there's a lock, okay. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Uh... Nick and I are gonna share a mind? <sighs> I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? If a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, you would have found your son by now. <laughs> Sorry, I just no. want to do the sarcastic we'll answers. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Uh, and this one, right? Side. <laughs> Hi, Piper, how are you doing? Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. You're going to watch me go into someone else's brain? Good for you. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. What do all these dials and things do down here? Just hold on. Why can't I press any of them? Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I also appear to be standing to on a um, a neural connection right about now. It gives us some clue to the institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. 
Alright, well let's go have a look at it then. Can I jump off? Whee! No, I can't. Okay. I'm not allowed to jump off into the void of Nick's mind. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kella. This may prove disorienting at first. such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to for a lot of people. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Connie? The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And yeah. all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. No. Should I just carry on over here? There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Hello, Connie. Can't see well, your don't face know properly. Here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I I'm just are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. And he has magic trousers. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. So. He was told so far. What we know is he was told. Like Conan. You can't trust anything except your gun in your hands. And it will keep you safe, and that's what he promised would keep his family safe as well. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. found 
another memory to try. I'll connect you. Is there anything? No, there's nothing here. Okay. So, um, his protection didn't quite work, so he got a bigger gun to go and kill people. Do 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 across the neural connections we go. Mind if we sit down? And it looks like he did kill people because he's still alive here. He's got himself a scar. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself. Oh, and he's That's got the right. face. He's got the the big okay. characteristic one down there now. Done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. There's a shiny thingy. Okay, I don't want to go to that shiny thingy. Okay. This one over here. Right, so he contracted out as a mercenary. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with me. Uh why is the memory stopped? Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Yeah, I've done that We're too, just training. with a different gun and oh, without all the fanciness. Mostly intact. Connecting now. Oh, hello. This looks familiar. Stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all so just it's the find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. So it's the Institute that switched off the life support in all the pods. And this one was empty. Interesting how that one was empty, but there's a person here, I guess. Mm. This is the one. Here. This time I'm going to watch this because technically I, that what that's not actually me. Um, I was investigating the inside of the pod, so I'm actually going to watch watch it through Kellogg's eyes over his shoulder, almost like a creepy person. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here, no. come here, baby. No, I got it. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. Please restore the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Oh yeah, that's what I looked like. What's well, the hold up? Yeah. I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Alright, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found ah, no an intact memory. Whenever you're ready. 
I've killed a lot of folks since uh, since that memory occurred. I'm used to people being shot now. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news. Uh, I think. It might be. I can't get a good look at him. Kellogg. It's okay. Hmm? One of these what? days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Hmm. Well, if it is him, it does make sense he doesn't know his actual father's dead. Because his memories don't actually form until... Uh, well, long-term memories actually form until you're uh, at least a year or two old, I think. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Holy shit, Bye. they're freaking mutants. They're freaking teleporting mutants. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Uh, yeah, I'm ready right now because my. With nothing going on, my frame rate just went. Oh, I'm gonna go to like 10 frames a second. What kind of side effects the procedure might have had? No one's ever done this before. I'm terribly sorry. I have how do you feel? Awful frame rate right now. I don't know what's causing it. Um. Let me. Right, it looks like I was just running out of disk space. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Are you? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. Um, Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. Right. 
Right, I'm sorry. Frame rate just seems to be going down to nothing. Um, I'll have to just clear out these off camera, and then and then once I've got this working again, I'll come back for the next episode. So later.